Good day, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier set for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. Okay, we are back with our Z8 Ultra Max smartwatch. Okay, it is from, as you can see, as you can see here, it is from Zordai. And it is using the Zordai support app. Okay, so we will check it. We are going to install the support app for this wearable. Okay, so we are done with the specs and design. We are done with the men menus and features. So this time we are going to check on or install pair it with the Zordai support app. Okay, so we have here the user manual. And as you can see here, it is available in Android and iOS user. Okay, so we are going to pair it with the smartwatch and see if what are the features available for the wearable. So if you have any questions regarding this video review, please drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have that time. Okay, so we are ready. We are uh, fully charged here. Okay, let's see. Okay, as you can see here, it's almost 100% battery. And we have here the user manual. And as, as we have stated earlier, it is available in Android and iOS users. Just search the word Zordai in Google Play. Okay, so let's check. Okay, let's see also if it's available here in the smartwatch. I guess this is also the... Okay, let's see if this oh this is not a QR code. Let's see if it's available here. Is it available? No. Okay. So let's check. Okay, no. We have a separate QR code. Let's check. Ringtone seems like we don't have it here. I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to check it again to verify. Okay, anyways, we already know the name of the app. Okay, so this one, it's a different QR code. So let's, let's just search it in our smartphone. Okay, so let's go, go to Google Play. Okay. And let's search the app. Zor die. Oh. Zor die. Seems like this is a new application. Okay, let's search. So we have here the Zor die. And as you can see here, obviously, it's a new app. Just less than or just above 10,000 downloads. Okay, so Zordai is an app for smartwatches. Okay, so let's see. So there's no review yet. Okay, maybe we'll be the first one to uh, put a review app or review comment on the Android platform. So there's a health data monitoring. What else? Okay. So, real health monitoring app. Okay. So, sports. What else do we have here? Watch faces. And more here. Okay. So, just 32 MB. So, let's install the application. Okay. So, let's wait. And let's see if it will be. Uh, of course, it is compatible. We'll, we'll see if it's stable. Okay, the connection is okay, fast, and stable. So, once we paired it with our Z8 Ultra smartwatch, we'll know the details about this support app. Okay, we are now on the 100%. Okay, so let's see. It's now installing the application. Okay. So we do hope that uh, there will be no conflicts 
or errors that we will encounter in the pairing of the Z8 Ultramax smartwatch with this new application, the Zordai support app. Okay, seems like we are done. And now it is scanning. Okay, checking for any issues. And seems like it's secure. So let's open the application. Okay, so open. Okay. Zordai. Very simple logo here. Okay, so here, so some agreement. Okay, privacy policy, service agreement, just agree. And it's asking for what's this? Okay, so you can get a verification code through email. You can either sign up, use third party login here. Okay. So we chat, what else? We have Google. So I guess we are just going to use the guest mode. So we we'll, we can make it fast. So here it is asking for permission. Allow Zordai to access this device's location. Just allow it. Allow Zordai to access photos, media, and files on your device. Just allow it. And we are here. To ensure the stability of the connection, please allow the following permissions. Okay. So let's see. We just tap on open up. Okay, display, allow display over other apps. Okay. Own back. So here let all app always run in the background. So allowing Zordai to always run in the background may reduce battery life. Okay, so you can change it later here. So just allow it. Okay. You can adjust on some of the settings later on after we paired with a smartwatch if you want other options you don't or you don't like other options you can adjust it in the, in the settings so here on the bottom part we have health sport device and your profile so uh, as you can see here this our bluetooth connectivity is not yet activated okay we have sports so this is the overall date overall data here for the health and sports and we have the device on the bottom part as you can see so let's add the device okay please turn on your bluetooth first so just tap on ok and activate your bluetooth connectivity okay so we're done then again tap on add device okay oops as you can see here okay it's already spotted the wearable Okay, that's very fast. Okay, so Zordai, is it a really our smartwatch? Okay, how can we be sure? How can we be sure? Let's check. Okay, do we have an about section for this wearable? Okay, so one available device. So it seems like we don't have it here. Okay, so anyway, I guess this is our smartwatch. Just tap on to connect, and it's now pairing. During the pairing, okay, so paired successfully. It is detected, it is detected that the watch, the watch audio Bluetooth is not connected. Okay, is it connected? So we paired it successfully, so we'll see it later on. Okay, if, okay, so here is the watch audio. This is for the music control as well as for the Bluetooth control pair. Okay, solo access to your contacts and call history pair. Okay, are we connected? Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's check. Find watch. Okay, data is synchronizing. Let's wait. Okay, so we're done. Okay, so we have successfully paired our smartwatch with the Zordai support app. As you can see here, uh, very easy. Okay, connection. No issues at all. Okay, we are paired with he, the Zordai audio also here. So we are connected as you can see. Phone calls connected, connected. Contact sharing, connected. Okay. 
So, going back to the support app. Okay. So, let's check. Let's see the notifications here. Incoming calls, activate it. So, just allow the access to your phone, call logs, manage phone calls, access contacts, allow it. What else? SMS. So, there's a separate section here for SMS and app notifications. Okay. This is a very good, well-built application. Okay. I like the UI of the application here. So, it is categorized into different pay area. Okay. So, here, allow notification access for Zordai with all notification, including personal information. Allow it. Okay, so we activate it here. And let's see. So, it supports a lot of applications here. Okay. So, everything is set for the Z8 Ultra Max smartwatch. And of course, overall the Zordai support app. We also have water reminder here. Reminder mode. Sedentary do not disturb mode. So we have there here the firmware version 1.40. Let's see. Okay, so it's already updated. Profile, goal settings. You can unit settings. You can adjust it here. Okay, what else? Let's check for updates. Okay, updates available. No. So it is ha it has an integration with the Google Fit. Very good application here so far. Okay. Google Map settings also support Google Map settings other settings okay so far there's no issues with the synchronization or pairing with the support app with our Z8 Ultra Max with the Zordai support app very good application so far okay with separate category for each function here very good UI for the smartwatch okay so that's it for the easy pairing step-by-step -step process on how to pair your smartwatch or your Z8 Ultra Smartwatch Max Ultra Max Smartwatch with the Zordai support app or application. It is available in iOS and the Android platform. So if you have any questions regarding this video tutorial or smartwatch, please drop a comment below and we will try to answer your queries if you do have that time. Bye.